Hello everybody, my name is Jared and welcome to Jar Red Gaming. Welcome back to Simulacra 2. I'm really excited to get back into this game, so let's just dive right back in. We had just synced our phone with Maya's laptop and we're still waiting for the sync to happen. So I think we need to go and talk to those other people who are friends before these can actually be made available to us. So let's see what Mina has to say. Mina sent a recording. Hi Maya. Um, are you ignoring me or something? D did, did I do something wrong to annoy you? I feel like I haven't seen you in so long. You're not leaving us, are you? It's just that you're the best at keeping the gang going. And I need you to be around. Together. I feel like this gang doesn't deserve to be around together. Like, they are horrible people to each other. Especially, they should be putting each other up and helping each other out, but they seem to complain to each other more than anything else. And get in little tizzy fits and stuff. I got more questions. We've already identified ourselves as a detective. Am I in trouble? I just want to hear your side of the story. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I can't help thinking like I could have helped her somehow. It's so sad that she died alone. How do you know she died alone? She was a close friend. She was my manager, but we were friends too. Yeah, she believed in me from the start, you know? I was struggling to get anyone to listen to me, but she heard me. She helped me change my look and made me who I am today. And I still despised her for other reasons, for being more famous than me. Ew. Sounds like you owe a lot to her. All of us do. She taught me a lot about this business. Your follower numbers matter more than talent. Even Maya got worried when she lost followers. All that stress must have eaten her up inside. Was she in some sort of trouble? That was like a timed res response. That was weird. Um, no, not that I know of. I keep thinking about how she died. Like, what if no one reported her death? If that random person didn't call, the cops would have done... W would the cops have found her? Does she have any stalkers? I don't like the timed responses. Don't time me. Let's let me think about what I want to say. I don't think so, but some of her fans were kind of intense, so I can... Can I go now, please? All this Maya talk is really triggering me right now. I need some alone time. You've been a great help. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. Was she was she at all helpful? I don't think she really was. All right, let's talk to Arya. We got more questions. Do I need a lawyer for this conversation? We're just talking, Arya, don't worry. It's just a conversation. It's never just talking with cops, though. Can we please just get this over so I can go back to my life? You don't seem to be, like, too upset about all of this. You two were close? We were. But I can't even mourn her in peace right now. Everything is falling apart and I have to pretend everything's fine. Work has been stressful enough as it is. Why pretend? Indeed, that's a good question. Why are you pretending? You think I like doing this? It's my job to keep up appearances. As devastated as I am right now, I still have to craft the perfect RIP response for my followers. Otherwise, my performance will tank even further. So it's all fake. I don't want to say that because I don't want to send her into a defensive mode. She's going to defend her position quite fiercely, no doubt. This job feels quite demanding. Let's try to empathize a little bit. It's a ruthless industry, so I need to stay competitive. Your followers can make or break you in an instant. You have to keep them happy at all times. And that means making sacrifices. Even sacrifices of your friends. Kind of sacrifices. Please do tell. Elaborate. Time, effort, family, approval. Need I go on? Work doesn't feel like work when you love your job. So for most of us, the pressure is worth it. Were you working the night Maya died? I was recording a video. Makeup tutorial. Maybe work strain is the real killer here. What is this? What is this blurred out option? Did I, did I not say something that I should have? Dang it, work strain? Yes, Maya was such a perfectionist. She was always overdoing it. With her lifestyle, who knows what kind of supplement she was popping. Maybe she dropped dead in her living room from pure exhaustion. How do you know where she died? Hmm, I'm just putting the pieces together, okay? Isn't that your job? Oh, what do we have here? Hmm, seems like maybe you knew where the body was without us releasing that information. Isn't that your job? Are you done? Because I am not getting back to sh my shoot now. Anything else? you'd like to share now's your chance to fess up i'll let you know if anything comes to mind glad to be of help mm. yes that was awfully suspicious wasn't it all right rex you're up on the chopping block i got more questions god why you gotta use maya's number almost killed me there haha <laughs> get it no I don't get it. You think this is funny? It's my way of dealing. Anyway, Mr. Officer, time is money. So shoot those questions. I hate you, Rex. Maya was your business partner? Yeah, with 
the other two. Just four independent adults looking to escalate their portfolios to the next level. Gotta rethink my workflow now with Maya gone. Figure out a new career plan. Problems keep piling up on me. Oh, poor you, Rex. Poor you. What problems exactly? Let me break it down. Less followers equals a big problem. Where were you when Maya died? Editing my videos. Gotta give my people what they want. Me. Only I can say that. Not you, Rex. You're not cool enough. I don't know what these, like, question mark blurred out options are. I really wish that I did. You must be a busy guy. Yet here I am at your service. So my theory? Maya went on some bullcrap detox self-care trip. Whatever she did there messed her up her face. And she got so upset and just croaked. How do you know about her face injuries? These guys know an awful lot about what happened to her. Uh, wild guess. My theories tend to be accidental on point all right i'm a visionary yeah you knew very unique facial injuries that you knew about i know you're playing detective but let me just say maya being dead means business is bad for everyone especially me how is that well for one image is everything and death's bummer for any brand okay time's up need anything else i could have made 7800 bucks in these few minutes of talking to you oh could you have yeah you act like you're in such dire straits we'll be in touch Wrap it up fast, will ya? Screw you, Rex. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me how to do my job. All right, well, let's talk to everyone. I'm really surprised the detective hasn't gotten in contact with me now that I've talked to everyone. He seems to know what I'm doing at all times. Oh, wait, maybe he did. <laughs> he did, and I didn't even see it. I spoke to them individually, detective. Learn anything new? Something they said bothered me. This sounds promising. What have you got? They knew details of the crime scene. Some of them did. Two of them did. What? All we told the public is Maya died of unknown causes, nothing else. What did they tell you? Arya mentioned Maya dying in the living room. You'd have to be at the crime scene to know that. Or make a very lucky guess. Uncovered any other info? Yeah, Rex said something about her face being injured. Only we knew about those marks. Either information leaked or he knows something we don't. Okay, what else? What's your take? They could have been there, right? I mean, there might be a leak in the force sensor. That's a wild accusation without really any other information. They could have been there, though, because they were defensive when they were, when I brought it up. Like, how'd you know about these things? Oh, you know, they acted like they knew something and they got caught in it. They could have been there. It's possible. But if they're lying, we have to prove it. What else can we pursue? I have got a theory. I'm not sure what the theory is, but I'm going to click that one because I want to see what the next response is. They're intentionally withholding information or they're covering it up. I do kind of smell a cover up here. Interesting hypothesis. They must have seen or heard something. Whatever happened to Maya spooked them enough to stay, to stay mum. It might just be an accident, though. I mean, we don't really have any other information to assume. Even so, they shouldn't be keeping things from us. We need solid evidence to nail them. Try getting her laptop of myself but the chief switched the locks to the evidence room <laughs> if you don't find a way to access my laptop remotely the tree i've i've already done that dude i'm way ahead of you bro and it looks like maybe we have some synced up stuff ah we do have a synced up video let's check it out we have to stop it otherwise we're all going to die please please just trust me I mean, like, why Why would a boosting service want to kill us? Because the Ripple Man is... Okay, the Ripple Man is not real, Maya. You have to stop it. The service is a bit weird, yes. But it's probably just a marketing ploy and a prank to mess with our heads. A prank? Our following shot right through the roof after we signed up. That's not normal! Oh, come on, it's just an algorithmic hack. It doesn't run on magic. This thing wants me as a sacrifice. Does if we don't stop it, this is not gonna end with me. What's this ripple man gonna do? Wave us to death? If I show it to you on my phone, will you believe me? Okay, sure. This All of this can be explained, babe. You're just oh, no. stressed out, okay? Yeah. It's okay, it's okay, you're just stressed out. I'm not throwing away my future because you're going nuts. I'm not crazy! I'm trying to save us, all of us! Maybe if we use a different service or something, it's too many that for, might help. Too late for that now. This is already happening, but we can stop it. We can okay, stop it. this is all just because of that stupid deal, right? Okay, look, no one's gonna take that deal, so nothing's gonna happen. You know, I'm not stupid enough to go for some vague trade. Hey, hey are you okay? <laughs> oh. Okay, they were definitely there. <laughs> oh my gosh, the Ripple Man dies suddenly after. Damn, they were straight in there. All of them were. 
Um, detective, I found some evidence. <laughs> there you go. Check this out, my dude. You won't believe it. Do I have to actually wait for a minute and 33 seconds for him to watch it? Oh, jeez. Oh, it happened. Okay. You saw the video? This Ripple Man? I thought it was just an urban legend like that Jeff the Killer story, but, but this is proof. They call me crazy? I'll show them who's crazy. I'll... I, I have to go. Too many ears here. Near retirement and no damn respect. Can't even get privacy in my own damned office. I should have been a pianist, but no. I had to serve and protect. <laughs> what? Do we really need to hear him, like, regretting his choice of becoming a police officer? Well, I'll be damned. Video evidence. Looks like he, she had a seizure of some sort. And these kids stood there and watched it. And they lied to my face. S sort of. I knew they were hiding something. <laughs> the Ripple Man, a deal. We need them to really spill it. Like, their guts. Like, cut them open. Can we just show them? I mean, this really tips our hand. But, I mean, then they won't really have anything to hide behind anymore. It might force them to confess. Good idea. Okay, they don't seem to realize that they were just being recorded. Let's use that as leverage. Yes, leverage. We need to figure out who this Ripple Man is and, th and this deal they keep talking about. We're close, a little more digging and we'll get to the bottom of this in no time. Great, what did you, what recording did this old dude just send me? Is it him in the bathroom or something? Why didn't they call the cops in the first place? They see their friend ripped into confetti and all they can think of is to run and hide? Damn kids. It's those damn horror movies making us look bad. It cheeses me off. Jesus. Someone tells the cops of an honest-to-God monster, and the cops treat it like it's a joke. Some of us take these things seriously, you know? We listen to our victims. I mean, let's be fair, though. If you came to the police with a story about, you know, a possessed phone or whatever, of course they're not gonna listen. Reason suggests you don't listen. Not really. All right, what's next? We just go and talk to them and show them this evidence and like, just like get some, get some information out of these fools. All right, let's see, what, let's, let's run through, see what we got here real quick on all these other things, new posts. I'm at the mercy of a fickle algorithm and fleeting interest. Did she just, what, Maya, did you just post this somehow? We've seen this before. I'm not happy with my life, definitely feeling lucky and grateful for what I have, blah, 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 blah. Slowly losing our thought, found this through the ads and changed the tide for me i'm at the mercy of a fickle algorithm and fleeting interest this is my scheduled post or bad idea okay so this everyone's just seeing this as a as a scheduled post everyone knows she's dead oh what is this this looks glitchy tired of losers holding back your perfect self i am sick of trolls spewing hate on your pristine image i am are your loyal admirers turning to persistent haters they totally are what is happening ever wished you could reshape your current reality oh i do oh take these questions to see how you like your reality to be shaped into which image best describes how you see yourself now i mean i'm a constant professional i'm a i'm a detective what would your journey to the top feel like what are these pictures journey to the top would feel like freaking chalk explosion in my face <laughs> what do you seek the most plants more chalk explosions buildings or weird geometry these make no sense i'm going with the chalk explosion in my face for again what would you change about yourself rotting fruit blurry pixelated fragmented or drowning if i could change something about myself i'd want the ability to not drown so i will choose i don't want to drown anymore what are you willing to become a masked person a masked person a masked person or some masks i mean this one looks kind of neat i guess what is going on this is weird what is this <laughs> was that a machine what, what, what you our charm personified when you talk people listen others desire to rise to your level so your challenge lies in relating to your audience without intimidating them strengthen your perfection by projecting the facade that you are just like everyone else idol what in the world this is weird what the frick that is weird discovered a missing group chat thread excuse me this is really strange okay group chat group chat let's try to reconstruct it do we have anything maya's death Right? Reconstruction successful! 
Group chat, new beginnings, group chat with blah, 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 blah. Um, I have a question about the boosting thingy. Have you seen our new card, the one with the weird message? You mean this thing. You relish your position as a star among people around you, playing at their own perceived role as much as possible in ever-increasing grandeur. You move people with your larger-than-life persona and sweep others away with your performance and influence. Embrace our influence and grow your prestige. This deal requires a sacrifice. What the heck? Oh, it's so freaking weird. Yes, that one. I don't like it. Seems very off. It's just some dumb personality-based upselling tactic. Then try to psych you out by buying their stuff. But what does it mean by ideal for a personal sacrifice? I feel like TRM wants to trap us somehow. What is it asking us to sacrifice? Seriously? Like, they call you and say, hi, can I have your soul? Scan this shit. Maybe I should ask Florence. She was using TRM before us. Florence? Hmm, who's this Florence you speak of? But just think about the timing. We're facing so much hate. The card descriptions like they know our brands. I got the musician one. So stealing our data or something. God, just like tracking metrics. So he just doesn't take it seriously. Oh my God, I know, right? Just can't hate all these people tearing me down. Got more hate mail. Haters gonna hate. Haters always gonna hate. And then they're starting to get worried about Maya. I guess around this time, Maya started acting strange. I figured it all out. TRM, the card the deal all of it there's a chance out of this there's still a chance out of this we're in danger okay just meet me tomorrow please must have been right before that webcam video we saw where she died interesting um detective more information have you heard of this trm check out this shit i got my own no but it looks like another piece of the puzzle this must be the service they were talking about in this webcam footage so how does the service factor in the phone flipped out when i responded to the trm ad flipped out one of my past cases involved people seeing strange visions when they interacted with specific apps i need to look something up ask the kids about this see what they have to say hmm all right we can talk to the kids hey kids guess what Oh, do we just drop the bomb right now about them being at the crime scene? Or do we kind of ease in talking about TRM? I'm going to drop the bomb. I'm dropping the bomb on these fools. You are at that crime scene. See proof in the pudding. Maya recorded us? <laughs> yep. This proves an obstruction. You're all suspects now. No, 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 no. I can explain. Oh, yeah, but you can, Rex. Technically, we only lied about being there. But I swear I have nothing to do with this. Yeah, well, I can hardly believe you now, can I? We didn't do anything wrong. Put yourself in our shoes. Who's going to believe us if we said that some face-tearing monster killed her? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. But still, you should have been up front from the beginning. I'm listening now. Tell him I, I make let him know that I don't that I don't necessarily not believe him. All right, okay, fine. Like I'm gonna not like I'm going anywhere. Thanks, Mister. Let's skip town. I don't even know how to start. It all happened so fast. She was fine, freaking out, but fine. Everyone's talk texting. Oh wait, I didn't get to say something. Oh dang it! I thought it was hallucinating or something. And bam, she just she just it was like it was invisible at first. Her face burst open. What's this ripple man Maya spoke about? Spill it, y'all. Oh um, I'm not sure. Hmm. You still lying to me, Mina? You still lying to me? Just something Maya named whatever the hell that was. All right, who knows why? Yes, poor thing must have said it in fear. It was terrifying for all of us. I told you it was crazy. Dang it! Holy crap! The response is quick. I didn't even have time to look at the options. I guess that's probably the point, because they're all talking too fast, right? We were totally scared. It was so extra. If I get involved, we didn't do anything wrong. We only lied about being Maya being nuts before she kicked the bucket, and it wasn't a complete lie. Is that all? Yes! Want me to write you a novel about it? Actually, I do. I'd like your statement in written form, please. What do you know about this TRM? I'm gonna... Ooh. I'm gonna send them theirs. How the heck did you get the old message from a wiped phone? Rex, they don't know what we know. The phone is wiped. Well, I do now. It was Arya's idea to wipe it clean, and Mina just watched. Oh, you guys are implicating yourself more and more. This is great. How dare you? We all agreed to this. There's no point in hiding anymore. Let's just be up front. What are you trying so hard to hide? Seriously, you guys are trying really hard. TRM. Okay, guys, calm down. Slow down. The boosting service Maya introduced us to, she said she was being haunted by it. She said she stood for tailored reputation management, then she called it the Ripple Man for some reason. She brought it up as a solution for our ratings dropping. Guess some people would sell their soul to keep their internet fame. I would never do that. Cranking up the blame train already, huh? You know, statistically, the accuser is always good. Oh, God, Rex, shut the hell up. Oh, dang it, I couldn't say anything. I wanted to say something. So since Arya got the ball rolling, oh, apply those statistics to yourself now, accuser. Oh, my God, I hate these people so much. Slow down and explain. Y'all need to slow the heck down. The Ripple Man offered a deal for a great sacrifice. So someone must have taken the deal and sacrificed 
sacrificed Maya. Someone? For all we know, you're the one who took it. Oh great, they're all gonna turn on each other. Does the act of innocence come with- Oh, duh, I didn't take it. Oh my god, what are these people's problem? How does the deal work? The deal can supposedly wipe out any bad publicity from your Chimera pages. Even Maya was getting flack. If you didn't pressure her so much, she might not have gone to such extreme measures. You guys gotta learn to deal with these things in a healthy way. Oh, I hate Rex so much. So Maya got you into all of this? I don't know what to ask there in that situation. She made it like it was gonna change our lives. We got a quota to hit, okay? You gotta be trending 24 seven or you lose everything. Unfortunate, but true. Are you saying you took the deal? Hey, we all agreed to the service and I never took the deal. It's like taking it. It's like making a deal with the devil here. I can negotiate a lighter sentence for cooperating. <laughs> Let's give him a little, give him a little something. I'm innocent. Please, I'll tell you everything you need. Now you want to be truthful? Maybe you should all be too truthful. Saying anything to save her own skin. Look who's talking. Oh my god. I hate them so much. I hate them so much. I know you're get rich quick. I mean, I never thought I'd hate people more than Greg from the first game. The real fiasco was mean as bullcrap hoo-hoo stories backfiring. Oh, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Hey, get rich? What are you talking about? I got to, I got to respond that time. You probably took the deal to silence your victims. Oh, sorry, haters. Uh, oh, yeah? If anyone needs help for haters, it's Mina. Oh, my gosh. You guys are terrible. Let's just take this one step at a time, guys. Seriously, y'all need to slow the heck down. You don't say no to me. You're not done when I- You're done when I tell you you're done, Rex. You guys are the worst. I'm out too. Besides, I'm not like you. I don't have anything to me anyway, right? I'm done here. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, you got nothing on us. You want to bet? I got you guys at the scene of the crime. Um, so you can't do anything to us, right? I can try to help you if you want to speak in private. Bye, Mina. She's what, what? Detective? Are you serious? Ooh, detective! Something's happening, detective. I tried to toggle back. And things aren't working for me. My phone or her phone. Oh dear. Uh oh. Oh. What is this? Is this uh Maya? New beginnings. Yep. They actually managed to take the photo. You would think someone who is like savvy of this technology and online presence and stuff would know the difference between taking video and a picture. Okay, speaking of pictures, is her picture changing it? That happened in the first game. Still looks kind of creepy. Jesus Christ, Rex, you bastard! And another thing, if you're gonna keep putting your nose all over my business and accuse me of all sorts of shit, I am going to sue you for defamation and harassment. Don't make me get my claws out, all right? Oh, you want to threaten me, son of a- You son of a bee? Okay, detective, I'm working on it, okay? You want me to do my job, I can't just be like, I respond to your every whim at, at, a, at, a, at a drop of a pen, okay? I'm coming. Just calm down, dude. Found anything yet? Rookie, better not be slacking off. Appreciate a response right now. Are you serious, dude? Like, I'm doing all the freaking work. I'm figuring out all the things that you couldn't figure out in a matter of minute. You're calling me a rookie? You're warning me that I shouldn't be slacking off? Are you for real right now? Oh man, should we tell him about the vision? Was that what that was? Yeah, let's say I think I saw a vision of Maya. What? Good lord. This might confirm one of my suspicions. I'll explain later. Enough screwing around, get back to it. Focus on getting more intel from the phone. This is worse than I thought. Whoa. We are dealing with the simulacrum. He knows what it's called? Oh my gosh. I'm familiar with those? <laughs> Am I? How do you know what it is? I've seen these things before. No one knows what these creatures are. They all use online communication as a cover, lurking behind websites, social media, apps. I don't know what they want from us, but they sure love screwing with us. So what exactly are we dealing with here, man? You, what have you gotten me into? Looks like this one named itself the Ripple Man. Interesting. This is one hell of a long con. It baits its victims by promising fame on Chimera, knowing that they will eventually slip up under the glare of the limelight. Then it offers them a deal to remove all criticism for a price. That's a pretty good deal? How could we even say that? It's their fault if they fell for it. I mean, honestly, that's true. Perhaps. Would you say the same if you're the one facing rejection and ostracization? But I can't imagine but I can't imagine being desperate enough to sacrifice a life for such a deal. Exactly! This case just got weirder. We're just getting started. These selfish idiot kids. One of them unleashes this ripple man. This thing will claim more victims if we don't stop it. Well, let's arrest them. Seriously, like, we can arrest them, detain them for, like, 24 hours or something, even without, like, 
A reason, I think. I've seen TV, I know how it works. Without a warrant? Okay, I guess I forgot about the warrant thing. Are you trying to get thrown out of the forest and have dupe shut down? We need to shut down that acronym, bro. First, we detain the perp who took the deal, then figure out how to terminate the monster. How do we know who took the deal? It's gonna be tough, but here's my idea. This deal removes criticism and brick bats, right? What is brick bats? But I'm sure these kids did something to spark that backlash. If we can find out what they did and why, maybe we can figure out who took the deal. How do we find evidence of this? Probably from the apps. Good thing about the digital age, everything leaves a trace. Start going through their social media. It's impossible to attract so much bad juju without doing something bad. Figure out what it is and confront them with it. Whoever took the deal must have a lot to lose. Precisely. They would do anything to defend what they've got. You're handling this solo for now. I need to settle some things. Where are you going? Like, you keep going. Like, what are you doing? Meeting the higher-ups. Dupe survival hinges on this case and I need them on board. Start with whoever you want, but don't talk to them without proof. We're looking for any evidence of them mucking up so bad that they were begging for a chance to wipe away all the negativity. Okay, what is happening? I'm getting all kinds of notifications, you son of a bitch, detective. Another thing. Watch your back. I don't like this seeing visions one bit. This rabbit hole is definitely not gonna end up in Wonderland. Thank you? I will do my best. Alright, well we got- oh, we got so much discovered files suddenly. Fashion email. Alright, area spent with Maya maybe? No, maybe the contradiction? Maybe we don't have the clue that we need. Okay, we need to get this information from them, I think. I don't think we have the clues quite yet. Okay, let's check out the old jabber. Jabber, jabber. Rex, I don't make excuses. Idiot, he makes money. It's not easy, this life isn't for everyone, so before you think you can do my job, let me spare you some wisdom. Don't compare yourself to me ever. You're not on my level, and you never will be. All right, y'all need to calm down. Get Rex, grab success by the throat. Oh God, I hate this guy so much. Guess who saved the big influencer contacts leak before it got deleted? Maybe this is some- this is something! I need someone's contact, just DM'd you, I'll trade you some exclusive news, anything you want, I'll talk. Maya practically offered to bribe at hot tea for someone's contact. Okay, who was she trying to get in contact with? My intention was to inspire people, sorry I offended anyone, what did we do? Any information here? <laughs> Whatever you do, don't trust this man. His name is Rex Keegan. Yeah, do not. Oh, we got a thing to scan. Yeah, don't trust him. He is evil, probably. Don't trust this man. His name is Rex Keegan. He's a liar and an all around fraud. He'll bleed you dry and toss you aside as soon as he gets what he wants. Help us get justice for his victims and get him off Jabber and Chimera by reporting his posts. Whatever Rex did, it affected many people and they all just want justice. Okay, so we're finding dirt, kind of. Trails of dirt for everyone, it seems. I hope we got something else here. It's, this, this, made, this second game's made it much easier to find the clues. You just kind of go in until you see the little scan button and it tells you exactly what you need. At Petrified, these are the flowers I gave at Mina Silva when I met her last night. It's the least I could do considering how much her music has helped me heal through the worst years of my life. She was so kind and understanding, I cried. Thank you for everything, Mina. You're a light and I love you forever. Mina's tragic stories may be made up or exaggerated, but they have genuinely helped others come to terms with their own grief and suffering. Is that a clue? Just seems like a nice story. Okay, we got some more. Extremely like to Jabber is mostly kind of... Let's just scan and find out what we... <laughs> I'm extremely like to Jabber as I mostly hang out on Chimera. I'm kind of desperate. I need big follower boost for big brand collab so I can make a deal. Follow me on Jabber. So you're out here begging for likes. Quick to take the easy way out of her problems, like asking for likes from her fans to boost her dwindling popularity. Hmm. Hmm, never a good idea. People see right through that normally. All right, well, that's the end of the Jabber post. I think we probably got everything we need from here. I pretty much went through every post. Ah, here's another one. How did I miss this one? I think we were even in the same thread at one point. Info at pumpedupclicks.web. Rex's new recruit was a user named Pumped Up Clicks. They are offering to be a referral to Rex's talk and they shared an email address. Okay. Okay, I think I've got everything I need on Jabber for the time being. Chimera. Ah, here we go. We found something on old Chimera here. I saw the Disc Junkies review of my recent show and I'm extremely hurt and disappointment. I'm a disappointment and don't deserve your support. Been crying all day. I feel incredibly numb canceling my performance later for the, my mental health. It'll be too much to see all of you and know that I'm such a failure. 
Mina enjoys wallowing in self-pity and use it as a means to get attention from others. Okay, okay, more things to scan. Usually not a fan of gym selfies since I actually come here to work out. This is from Maya, by the way. But I just wanted to share my amazing cleanse journey one step at a time. Mm, hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. Maya talks about a routine at Mind Body Fitness. We get all kinds of clues, y'all. More scan. What do we get? What do we get? Sorry, but something about the video is a uh, wrong. Don't they call themselves muses? She said she's an ambassador. Looks like she didn't even tag them. That is weird. Oh my god, I think you can call their hotline on their website to report them. Aria announces her partnership with the Allurin brand, but commenters are pointing out that some discrepancies in this announcement. Okay, okay, what do we got here? Max to Rex, all my life people said I'd never amount to anything over and over again. I was treated like dirt despite my best efforts. Hell, there's even a whole group dedicated to my downfall. The coveted BizCon invited me to speak. I'm writing to you now at the end of the successful session, full house and standing ovation from the audience. Despite his dubious side businesses, Rex is still recognized by legitimate organizations like BizCon and gets invited to speak there. Interesting, good to know. He's a scumbag, but I guess he's good at being a scumbag. Okay, what's this? Ari Aria Park is the most hardworking person I know she dealt with so much just to be here. None of here would have survived what she's been through. She's my inspiration. No one messes with my bestie. Maya sees Arya as her inspiration to stay strong in tough times. Okay, good to know, I guess. More evidence? Mina De Silva comments from Mina's post. Whoa, didn't know you were in that crash or you were new. Erica, small world. Funny though, they always said the driver got away. Mina's saying they were, they were caught. Mina revealed that a personal tragedy has been a major source of inspiration for her music, but some of her fans are doubting this. Fake, fake, fake all just fake fake people fake stories is anyone actually surprised by any of this i'm pretty sure this is how it is in real life all right i think we've gone through everything i think we've gone through all of jabber all of chimera and, and gotten as much information as we can now is the question how do we use it to get information that we need I am, however, going to leave that for the next video, guys. I'm going to end this here. Still kind of curious to see how this game is going to be different from the first game. I'm sure there's going to be some really interesting things to happen, and I can't wait to find them with you guys by my side. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you guys think is going on. If you're new to the channel and you've watched this entire video and you're really digging this as much as I am, maybe subscribe and hit the notification and do all that crap because, you know, I'm supposed to say those things at the end of a video. <laughs> and as always, thank you so very much for watching. You've been awesome. Let's play again soon and I'll see you in the next video.